Well, hello, this is Eric Larson with the Assistive Technology Department for Long Beach Unified School District. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, a clever way to annotate onto graph paper. So this would be for a student who has an accommodation that they have digital versions of class material, which might include math assignments that they have. So the prerequisite for this video is that you already know how to use Doc Hub or find it, um, and that you know how to get PDFs into a student's Google Drive. So if you don't know about those two things and check out a couple of our other videos that explain that. So you can see I'm in my drive here. I, uh, I Googled graph paper PDF from the internet, so the World Wide Web, and I downloaded it and pulled it into my drive. I'm going to click on that here. I'm going to open with Doc Hub. Now this is going to give me a piece of graph paper that I can type directly onto. And so student may have visual motor challenges, fine motor, whatever it is, this will help them to line it up. So now, of course, this is not a calculator, so it's not going to produce answers, but it will simply gives them another modality in terms of writing their math out. So let's give it a try. The most common tool that you're going to be using is the text tool. Boost it up to 14 here, make it a little bit bigger. Let's get started. Let's do a simple addition problem. And I'm simply typing this using the keys right on my Chromebook keyboard. Three plus two equals five. Not too shabby, huh? Let's do a simple equation. Let's do three plus an unknown. A equals five. And the student from there, they can solve it. I want to do my minus sign right there. We are cooking with gas now, huh? A equals two. We have our solution. Let's say you wanted to do a long division problem. Let's go three. Now let's change our tool. Let's go for a line tool. Bottom to the top. Let's do another one. Back to the text tool. Let's do six. Let's make life easy. Okay, great. Now we can solve. Three goes into six how many times? So you can see, it's obviously not giving me the answers, which is good, but it's, if I have serious issues with pencil to paper tasks, this could be a lifesaver. Draw a simple line, back to the text tool, zero, and it is as simple as that. From there, this could be the student's worksheet. They could arrange it. Problem number one, problem number two, and so on down the line. You could do something like this. Then if you're familiar with Dog Hub, you just export that right back to Drive. Give it a name different from the one that you imported it from. Export to drive and there it goes. So from there hopefully you have your folder shared with your students or you're using Google Classroom. Check out some of our other videos if you're unfamiliar with that. That's all for this video. I'd like to remind you that you have the power.